Okay, so today we're going to be cooking. I'm fucking tired too. I worked an eight hour shift, took a nap, and now I'm cooking dinner and it's 6.30 and I'm not even really that hungry, but I'm kind of bored. So I was like, why the hell not? Let's go. But yeah, so I'm a vegetarian. So today's dinner, I'm going to be cooking what do you want to call this? Like a vegetarian chipotle veggie bowl. It's not from Chipotle because it's coming straight out of my kitchen. So vegetarian Hannah veggie bowl. Yeah, that's what we're going to call it. Without further ado, let's get cooking. Okay, so here's what you're going to need. Being a vegetarian, you do lack that sense of protein you are missing from most meats that you're getting in your diet so I do have to substitute it with other things that have protein in it and the main source of protein that I usually use is from different veggie meats so what we're going to be using today is this chicken strips it's from Morningstar I'm obsessed with Morningstar they have so many different like types of like vegetarian like meat substitutes like chicken nuggets chicken patties burgers oh i also usually use if i make this the griller crumbles which are like the like um ground beef type whatevers but today i'm going to try out the chicken so that's going to be my meat and then i'm going to be using black beans any type of black beans will work these happen to be organic then I'm using, this is the only rice we have, so I'm going to be using jasmine rice. Big old boy over here. You're going to need some salsa of your choice. And then I also like taco sauce. You're going to need some lettuce. Some cheese that I somehow fucked up, but it's okay. You're going to need some tom oh, some tomatoes. I can't juggle. And the dopest thing is, thank God my dad likes to garden and he has a green thumb because these tomatoes are fresh out of our garden. Look at that. And then, highly recommend, if you like guacamole, they sell like individual like guacamole things. It is holy guacamole. I, get, I got these ones at Target. You can probably get them anywhere. My dad bought them a while ago. And I started using them a lot when I was um, making these veggie bowls and they're really good with uh, like carrots and different veggies and stuff like that. So I'll use one of those. But that's basically everything you need. And if you want to add anything else to your veggie bowl, you definitely can. I just don't really have anything else to make it with. But first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start the rice because I feel like that'll take the longest. So I'm going to start that out. If you don't already have one, get yourself a rice maker. This makes your job 10 times easier. My dad uses it all the time and I honestly thought it was the lamest thing ever, but I used it the other day and my whole life has changed. I don't think I will cook rice any other way. So highly recommend one of these bad boys. So how the rice maker works, I'm gonna take my handy dandy cup and it says, literally done this before one cup of rice into a basin one and a half cups of water and then what i'm gonna do is take myself a spoon stir that up a little bit and then i'm going to add this taco seasoning i'm not gonna put it all in there but i kind of want the rice to have a little bit more flavor other than just the jasmine -y of the rice so oh a little bit more that should be good stir that bad boy up and then how this works literally i guess maybe depending on the specific rice maker you have this one all i do is i plug it in i turn on the switch put the lid over top of it and then it turns off when it's done, which is pretty freaking dope. And then I'll have to touch this until I'm ready to freaking eat my freaking Chipotle Hannah veggie bowl thing. You know what I'm saying? Okay, now that we're cooking with rice, let's cook some 
veggie meat and some beans. I think I'm gonna need to move you guys a little bit closer. Why well, hello, new location. Let's get cooking. You're gonna need two pans. So what you need? Your veggie substitute. Or you know what, if you're using actual meat, go ahead and do that. I don't care what you do with your life. Um, and the beans. I'm gonna need myself a can opener to open the beans. Blow up my toilet tonight. I'm gonna turn on my skillets. Oh, shoot. And then, do I need to drain this? I'm gonna drain the beans a little bit. Not too much. Then I'm gonna pour my beans into one of the skillets. It's getting real. And then I'm gonna take my chicken strips and put it in the other pan. I've only tried these once and it was when I was making like spaghetti and I wanted a protein with it. So I used that. I'm gonna use the same spoon for both of them because you know what? At the end of the night, I do my own dishes and I don't really fucking care. So I'm gonna turn them down a little bit to like medium to high heat and kind of just stir them. And then while those are cooking up, I'm going to get going with my toppings. Oh my god, I know what I forgot. The sour cream, yo. Or in this case, Chobani plain Greek yogurt. Don't think it's weird until you try it. It's honestly like a healthier substitute to sour cream. My dad put me on it too. My dad put me on a lot of shit. But... It honestly tastes the same. It's not as like tangy, I guess, as sour cream is, if that makes any sense. But it's still like the same concept and if you try it, let me know. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a tomato and take a knife and just cut that bad boy up in little pieces. I feel like I cook more towards like winter time because I noticed I was cooking a lot more different types of meals last winter and then when summer hit I was just outside I was doing more stuff with my friends and I didn't really find myself cooking as much so that's why fall and winter are kind of some of my favorite um, seasons because I feel like I'm being more productive with shit and then I'm also going to add a little bit of olive oil you hear that sizzle? That means we're freaking cooking. I'm gonna put a little olive oil in there kind of to coat it because I am going to season these. But yeah, like I was saying, last winter, I learned to cook so many different types of meals. Cheese quesadillas, I learned how to make homemade pasta sauce, um, homemade tomato soup, that shit was bumping. I'm definitely gonna have to show you guys how I made that because tomato soup and a grilled cheese, let me just tell you, the creme de la creme, the tomato de la de tomato. Oh, and then what, oh, it was a uh, shrimp tacos with uh, cilantro lime sauce. That was pretty good. Okay, so I cut up a one tomato. The rice is still cooking over here. We're making progress. One tip I will give you all is clean up as you go. So then when everything's done and cooking, you can just enjoy your food. I feel like that's one reason why some people are pretty lazy when it comes to cooking because they don't like the mess that they make from making a beautiful meal. But you know what? When all is said and done, you're gonna have a freaking amazing meal. And this will last me about like three or four days. For seasoning, I'm going to split up the rest of this taco packet that I had between the chicken and the beans. And this is where I don't measure because honestly, I kind of just eyeball it. So if you want exact measurements on what you should be putting in like your vegetables, look it up because this is not the place to find it. So black pepper, I'm seasoning, um, 
the chicken and the beans with the same thing. So I kind of just like wing it, eyeball it, whatever. So black pepper, garlic powder, um, paprika, chili powder, about to be spicy, and a little bit of cumin. I'm gonna give them both a quick little stir and then do a little taste test. And that's kind of how I tell how much I should put things into it. You can always add, but you can't take away. So let's try a little bit of the beans. That's hot, that's hot. Honestly, pretty good. Other than the fact that I just burnt my tongue. I think we're good on the seasoning. And since I just burnt my tongue on the beans, it, they are pretty much done. They're just being heated up at this point. So I'm gonna turn that down to low. The meat's pretty much done too. And the rice just popped up, so that shit's done too. So basically everything is in order. Okay, so I just checked on the rice. It is done. It is currently in this bowl. I'm so hungry now too. So I'm glad I did end up making this. So I got my rice in my bowl. Then I'm gonna take my black beans as they would at the Chipotle and put that in there. Then I'm gonna take my protein and put that in there. So that's what it looks like so far. Ooh. Then I'm gonna take my tomatoes. Then I have the stale, nasty lettuce that I'm gonna use. I mean, it's not all stale. It's just a little bit pink, but some of it's doable. You make do with what you have sometimes. Living alone, I've learned a lot of things in how to manage what I have and you make do with the things that you have kind of your own little life hacks as you go through life, I like to say. Then we're gonna add the cheese from my fucked up bag. And you can really use any type of cheese. I make do, like I said, because like, what would you usually use? Mexican cheese. But this is mild cheddar cheese shredded. And really, who the hell cares? It's freaking cheese. We're gonna add the Chobani sour cream substitute and I don't want to hear y'all saying ew that's nasty you're putting yogurt on your um veggie bowl I don't really care to do a dollop of chobani I used to be in choir I don't know what happened that was awfully pitched gonna put a little salsa action on there take a little bit of the take sauce and drizzle that bad boy on there then finally last but not least the guac, the guacamole, the mush dip avocado. Yeah, boys, okay. And like I said, put away everything that you have so you can enjoy your food. Now that it's done, I can chow down this veggie bowl. So hold on just a second, I'm about to show you how bomb this looks. Okay, are you ready? Look at this. Whoop. Ooh, hold on. Let me give you a different angle. This lighting is probably not going to be the best, but look at that. It ain't no Chipotle, I know, but you know what? When it comes down to it, I made that. But let me give it a little stir. Oh, yeah. Yes. I'm about to chow down on that. So yeah, that is how I make my vegetarian Chipotle, Hannah, bowls, whatever you want to call it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm about to go and enjoy my dinner. It smells so good. I hope you all have an amazing day. Keep smiling, keep shining. Never stop sharing your light with this world. Keep cooking. Keep doing stuff that makes you happy. Do what you love. I don't know. Go cook yourself some dinner. Go cook yourself this meal. I promise you it's amazing. And you let me know how it tastes. But yeah. Bye, babes.